Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Macro Flats and Goat Hill Junction Railroad. It's a very exciting day for us, uh, us being the Orange County Model Engineers. Uh, my name is Gary Gorman. I'm the president of the club, and I'd like to introduce our board of directors to my right, Ken Matassa, our vice president of facilities. To his right, Bob Harrison, our Vice President of Operations. Next, our Secretary, Mr. Ken, Ken. <laughs> what's your name? Hank Castanghetti. And the most important man in the entire club, our treasurer, Alan Stevens. He's the guy that allowed us to buy this sucker. So, <laughs> And uh, so this is uh, a very unique uh, time for us. It's been over 10 years since we've had a new locomotive. And we finally got one uh, delivered. It was actually built here in the U.S. of A., built by a company called the Train Works in Sutherland, Oregon. Uh, this is a very unique uh, paint scheme on this. It was inspired from the uh, Union Pacific's Heritage Collection of Locomotives, the UP 1996. And it's a, a tribute to the men and women of the Southern Pacific Railroad. Union Pacific took over Southern Pacific in 1996. This model is patterned after that. As far as we know, there's only two locomotives that resemble this. The original is currently, I believe, in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and the one you're about to see. The, uh, the paint scheme takes into consideration the, uh, the uh, Black Widow locomotive of the Southern Pacific. It was a locomotive paint, painted largely black and then elements of the daylight, which has been called the most beautiful train in the world. So you can uh, judge for yourself. With that, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, our esteemed uh, city council member, Arlos Reynolds. Well, good morning. Thank you all for being here with us today. Um, this is a really nice way to start a Saturday with the community supporting a group of volunteers who provide benefits to the community in Costa Mesa. Um, I first really got to know uh, the members here at OCME when I was trying to engage a lot of residents in some advocacy around our natural spaces here in Costa Mesa. And with the, the friends I was working with, we were trying to figure out where do people gather who love to be outdoors and who we think will care about the community. That's how we found OCME. We started coming every public run weekend and talking about the natural parks that we have in the city and how important they are to protect. And we've had a, just a great uh, a team effort on that. Um, and it's, it's been wonderful to get to know the members of OCME uh, since then, to really see their commitment, not just to the, the hobby of model trains, but really to engaging the public here in Costa Mesa, to providing a free asset for our members to enjoy. Um, the interest in engaging with our schools, to engaging with the natural aspects of the park. We have a great uh, partnership now with a member of OCME on our Fairview Park Steering Committee, which is wonderful since you have eyes here um, almost every day to help us uh, improve the environmental stewardship of Fairview Park. So uh, I'm just thrilled to support this organization, thrilled to see you continue to, to grow, um, thrilled for the future partnerships with our Fairview Park Steering Committee, uh, again, I can't imagine a, a more wonderful organization than one that's run by volunteers, that provides public benefits for our community, and that helps connect our residents with nature. So thank you all. Uh, excited to continue to working with everybody and excited to see more community members enjoy this organization. <laughs> Apparently our uh, mayor is running somewhat behind. so. In her stead, I'd like to introduce uh, Mayor Pro Tem. John Stevens. John Stevens. <laughs> Stevens. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all for being here. What a great day in Costa Mesa. So we've got, we've got folks over on the river that are cleaning up the river. We have our beautiful fish fry right across the street. How many of you are going to go to the fish fry later? That opens at noon. But right now, we're, we're opening a new locomotive with the model engineers. And this, this place, there are so many things in Costa Mesa that are unique to Costa Mesa that you don't have anywhere in the world. What city has a fairgrounds, a professional football team, the model engineers, the Lions Club, the Fish Fry, South Coast Plaza? 
Yesterday, we had the groundbreaking for the Orange County Museum of Art in our city. It's a, it's a tremendous city, and we're so lucky, and I'm so proud and honored to serve this city and this great community. Now, this place is personal to me because I have four children, and my oldest two, my boys, are 27 and 25 years old. And I remember when I would bring them here years ago before I ever thought of running for city council, and, and we would be on this train, and I'd put them right right between my legs and pat them on the head and we'd go around these tracks and now they're adults they've got their education and now we look at like council member Ma Mansoor here he's got young children that are going to ride with him including his three-month-old so it's it's a it's a new generation and it's going to keep going and it's and thanks to these model engineers for doing to, for doing this for our community and our children because like uh, Arliss and I are involved now in a thing called the Early uh, Costa Mesa Early uh, Childhood Coalition. And there's nothing more important to our community and our children than doing something like this, to have parents and grandparents and friends and family be with our kids and just love them and just exist with our kids and do something fun. So I'm really happy to be here. I can't wait for this locomotive to start. I'm going to be one of the first ones riding in it. Let's hear it for Costa Mesa and the model engineers. Oh, wow. Wow. Just uh, good morning. Thank you for being here. And I think everybody is ready. Uh, everything's already been said. So I think you guys all want to ride the train. So let's get to riding. One, two, three. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mackerel Flats and Goat Hill Junction Railroad. For your safety, please remain seated upright and face forward at all times. Keep your arms and legs inside the train and your feet on the running boards. Do not lean out or turn around with the trains in motion or reach for anything along the side of the track as this will cause the car to dip over and derail. There is no smoking on the train and no photography from the train while it is in motion. So please put your cameras and cell phones away. Now if there should be a problem during your trip, please remain seated and follow the instructions of a train crew. And be sure to visit our donation box on your way out. A donation that keeps the trains running. Thank you and have a nice trip. All aboard!